I hope you'll find this on a local bookshelf and follow along. It's Mayday Mayday, a Coast Guard Rescue by Chris L. Demarest. It starts with a labeled diagram of a rescue swimmer, starting at the helmet with reflective tape and a Kim light, a swim mask, a snorkel, trisar harness, a dry suit, reflective panels on that dry suit. Pocket contents include a radio and two flares, four Kim lights, a switchblade, a J-hook knife, a flashlight, a strobe, a signal mirror, inflation poles, neoprene gloves, swim fins, a swimmer's bag, swim gear plus food and water, padded knee coverings and booties. A 30-foot yacht adrift well out to sea sends mayday, mayday, please respond to our plea. The call is received at the Coast Guard Air Base. An H-60 Hawk has been fueled for the chase. The flight mech and swimmer stow gear and belt in. The pilot's checklist done. The rotors now spin. In minutes, twin turbines drown out any sound, a short taxi and then wheels lift off the ground. The yacht with sails reefed gets knocked on its side, then righted it battles a frightening ride. On radar, the small boat appears dead ahead. Then a flare lights the sky a shimmering red. With winds steadily whipping into a gale, a lowered winch line could entangle the sail. So the swimmer is tapped, he knows his job well. Thumbs up from the mech, he drops into the swell. A perfect drop aids the rescue swimmer's task. His chem light glows brightly atop his face mask. Battling waves, the swimmer reaches the craft, then guides the weary sailors into their raft. Next, the flight mechanic calls basket away, then guides the pilot through the swirling salt spray. From the raft, a sailor drops into the sea and is guided into the basket safely. The pilot, blind to what's happening below, listens to the mech, guiding him, steady and slow. One by one, the sailors are hoisted aboard, then a last drop before the basket is stored. The weary, cold sailors are strapped into seats as the, as the Jayhawk then beats a hasty retreat. Now back at the base, Parked just off the runway, the refueled Jayhawk awaits the next mayday. So that's the adventure, and this is, it ends with a diagram of the helicopter. From the tail rotor and upper anti-collision light, the stabilator, the tail bumper, a remote compass, a lower very, very high frequency antenna, a lower anti-collision light, a high frequency antenna, emergency locator antenna, exhaust off the engine, so jet turbine engines, a main rotor, a rescue hoist, a rear view mirror, an air temperature sensor, a pitot tube, radar dome, spotlight, cockpit, cockpit step, flotation, right position, starboard light, external fuel tank, pylon fuel tank support. And then it's got the statistics, the size, height to main rotor, 12 feet, height to tail, 13 feet, 3 inches, length overall, 64 feet, 10 inches. Mayday, mayday.